What is going on, esteemed witnesses of the courtroom? It is the Croc, and it's time for another turnabout tutorial, one of the most anticipated ones on the channel. The updated, updated, updated Desmume Wi-Fi old DS or new DS server tutorial. Okay, we're going to get started directly here. I went ahead and extracted a new copy, and I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and highlight WingCap. Uh, if you don't have WimpCap and you don't have a wired connection, we can just stop right here. I can tell you how to do it the back way, but it's very dangerous. You need to know exactly what you're doing. You would use a virtual box uh, to emulate Windows XP and all that fun stuff, and you would do some tricks to get a wired connection and stuff like that. I will not be covering the DSI method or any other method. This is strictly for Desmume Wi-Fi. Now, if you'll give me a moment, I just uh, reformatted a couple days ago. So let me find it. You need this right here. You need WimpCap 4.1.3. You need to make sure that's the version that you have. I'm not going to install it here because, as you can see, I can I already have that um, downloaded. So that is not the hero there. That is the uh, driver engine that lets Desmume connect to Wi-Fi. Now we got to do two different things here. First, we've got to actually set up the Desmume for Wi-Fi. Now you'll recall in the original tutorial we did it this way. You need to drag the BIOS files into the firmware, and that bottom firmware file you leave it alone and the bin folder. You want to go ahead and open your emulator here, and uh, it needs to be this version as well. I feel like it's the most stable Wi-Fi version, so I'd recommend you use that. Um, okay, so what you're going to do here is you're going to browse for the BIOS images that you set into the firmware folder. Please make sure your paths match up. Uh, I can't tell you how many issues can be solved by paths, um, whether that be your BIOS files and that uh, and whatnot, or your save files or anything else. So once you set the BIOS files in the firmware, that's the actual Wi-Fi portion of Desmume Wi-Fi. This is the point at the original tutorial that you would try a Wi-Fi game and it would either work or not work, and then you had to replace the firmware and it would work. Because some of you uh, emailed me several questions about that, so uh, we got that down pat. Now first we need to get up into our, we need to turn our emulator on here, or our ROM. And what we need to do first, I'm actually not going to do it 100%. Like, I'm going to show you the steps, but I will tell you guys, once you get this configured, you're not going to want to reconfigure it, especially if you're a Pokemon Black 2, White 2 player, because it is an absolute pain in the arse to get it back uh, the way you want it. And the reason I say that is, as far as compatibility of Wi-Fi, I'm not sure if you guys remember, Fitch and Wi-Fi was, like, um, really, really unstable uh, in the fact you had to go into the room several times to be seen and whatnot. Now, let me explain exactly what we're trying to accomplish in a different manner so that you understand the process that we're going through. All you're basically doing is you're deleting all the settings that your ROM and emulator had beforehand on the Nintendo Wi-Fi servers so that you could be given a new frame code and a new setup on the new DS servers. Now, I haven't loaded my save file yet, but the first thing you want to do when you load up is you want to go to options and erase Nintendo Wi-Fi configuration. The reason this particular one is grayed out is this this ROM has already gone through that. Therefore, you don't have to do it again. I believe it's based on ROM, but that's very, very important because if you don't erase the, content, the configuration... By the way, I'm not really sure uh, why my Desmume does that. It doesn't do it on my side, so it must be something in the recording. But at least you guys can see what's going on, and they did it last time, and, you know, we did fine. So, what you need to do here is, like I said, once you erase, it's going to turn itself off. You're going to need to reset. You're going to need to, t you're going to, need to reset up your connection on soft app. Again, that's going to be what appears if you do have the wired uh, Desmond made. Don't mess with auto-obtain IP address whatsoever. You're going to go to auto-obtain DNS, and you're going to put in the Polaris... New server, new DS server IP address, which I'm going to show you right here. Also, when we get into this tutorial, you're going to see a couple of things. Uh, I will show you what happens when the server's down. Um, of course, this doesn't work 100% of the time because they don't keep the server up 100% of the time. But also, if you have any error codes, you can also email me and message me on YouTube, add me on Skype, whatever, um, and whatnot, and we'll get through it. So. Uh, Anna will probably help me through this at some point. 
just because my daughter does like to uh, be heard and stuff. Now, I'm going to switch over to my Desmume that's already fully configured. Um, I am going to probably have a little trouble with these save files, but I can reset that up at a later date because that doesn't really matter to me at this point because I kind of make teams as I go. I'm one of those people. So, glitches aside, uh, we're going to get this uh, going for you guys. Now, by setting that IP address or the DNS address, you're setting it kind of like back when, for those of you that are running the exploit on uh, the new games, you're basically running whatever server address the exploit comes from. Uh, to get on the new Nintendo Wi-Fi servers. That's exactly what you're doing, uh, in, in a sense. Now, you've got to make sure you run, you do your resets when I cover them, because half the reason it doesn't work for people is they don't reset. After you change your uh, IP, your DNS address, you need to reset the game. It's just the bottom line. You need to reset. So I'm going to take a moment to try to get my save file loaded up, but... Uh, I'm not going to have any luck with that, just because mine can be a douche sometimes. For some reason, I was thinking uh, when I imported a different save, it would have stayed there, but it's okay, because, I mean, that's an easy fitness. I mean, it's not even hard, especially if you have, like, a flashcard or something. You can just edit it as a save, resave it as a save, move it over as a Desmume save file, or just a battery import and import the battery file so you're back in your save. I mean, it's... Not a difficult process whatsoever. Trust me, and there's stuff in, in this that we're going to do that's a lot more difficult. Now, the way this tutorial is lined up, because, you know, I've already recorded the whole thing uh, prior, uh, because I told you guys I have a daughter, and uh, basically what you have to do when you have a daughter is you have to use your recording time uh, to your benefit. Also, a couple of things I did not know. My fiance was downloading something, so that takes part later in the video. And also, you want to make sure that uh, you know which error codes and what happens when you have the server not being up. And I don't want it to look like this doesn't work. I promise you it does. Um, thanks, Mr. Ors Kid, for the save file because I was recording his side of the battle. Because at the time that we played, I could not get my Black 2 to work on the new server, so I had to use Black, which is a lot, 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 lot easier, guys. But it's okay because some of y'all like those alternative forms and what have you, and the C gear alterations, and of course the sexy uh, backgrounds for black and white, black, white too, uh, when Kavotics and some other people uh, showed those up. So, as I said, I'm trying to get my save file. It's not really going to be working for me. It's okay, though. Um, I decide just to reload Orge's file so we can continue this tutorial. Now, to recap, the only things that, that to this point that we should have done We've installed WimCap 4.1.3, which runs the driver at the start, um, which if you have a wired connection and you have all that fun stuff in WimCap, then you're good to go. Now, another big error is what will happen is you'll go to go get your friend code or what have you, and you won't have this DNS set. What you need to do when you set this DNS after you reset the first time, you need to put it back in and you need to save the settings. I don't even care if you test the connection. Because it's going to work. You just need to save it as default. Because you're going to go to get your friend code. And you're going to wonder what the heck's going on when you can't get it. Now, this is going to come into play right here. Uh, I'm showing you that. I mean, you see that I have a wire connection. It takes a little bit longer. Only because of the fact that she was actually downloading something. And I didn't know this. Because Lex does that. She's ninja when I'll be recording and whatnot. Uh, should be downloading. Because that's exactly how she is. Now, as far as the stability of Fitch and Wi-Fi, which you need to make sure you're doing, uh, if you have Skype or anything and your computer is not really super ultra-powerful, you need to close Skype and everything once you get connected. Also, for those of you with Desmume, which now this can run Desmume to Desmume, um, not sure how stable it is. I'll have to let you guys know on that. But if you others on the other side are using a good old classic DS and web, Y'all need to be hosting and not the Desmume player, because uh, it's more likely to crash when Desmume hosts the game, for whatever reason. Okay, so I believe this is going to be fantastic, because it's going to show you guys what happens um, when you don't do 
exactly what uh, the instructions are. I'm going to show you. Now, you won't even have this part if you delete everything because what it's going to do is act like a new connection and whatnot. And what's going to end up happening is you're going to be to the point where, you know, you have no friends in your pal pad. Would you like to get your own friend code at least? Now, what you want to happen is your game not to work, like not to match where you have to update your game update your game card to be the game card that you connect on Wi-Fi with. You want that to happen. That's again resetting your connective services over to the new DS Wi-Fi servers as opposed to holding all of your information on the Nintendo DS servers. The original ones that went down May of, wow, 2013 I believe. I mean it's been that long. Hard to believe it's almost been two years since we've had good old classic DS Wi-Fi now. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors as well that uh, it does not work with Black 2, Soul Silver, etc. Those are not true. They are a little bit more tedious. That's why I'm showing you Black 2 because, you know, Black 2 was a thing that you guys did back in the past. This is a good thing. You want this to happen. Now, if it does fail the first time, there's one of two things that's going on. Well, three things. One, you did not save your settings which I believe it does happen in this tutorial. I forgot to save the settings. And what's going to end up happening is it's not going to connect to Wi-Fi because it can't find that DNS to connect to the new server. Number two error, the servers are not up. Number three error, you did not reset after changing your DNS, which is going to result in another error. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Orski can correct me if I am wrong. I do believe it fails the first time automatically. I have, I, again, this comes down to the Catch-22 firmware issue from the original tutorial part. Some fail, some don't. You know, I've gotten messages. This this right here is what you do want, the, that you can't connect to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. You're going to reset, and uh, this first time you're going to see I just didn't set my settings, which kind of puts you in a bind because you're supposed to set the settings, try to connect, fail, reset, and then reconnect is, is what is what is supposed to happen uh, in that order. Now, if you're in this situation where you don't have any friends in your pal pad, then, well, I don't know what to tell you. See how I did not have the, the DNS set there? Uh, I've only, I, I've put in the number so many times I've got it memorized in my head, 104-131-9387. You want to make sure that you put it in both the primary and the secondary DNS, and you can test your connection if you feel entitled to do so. Uh, the biggest thing, like I said, is just save your settings, which sometimes I'll test the connection and you'll close out thinking that you're all set, but in all reality, you're not because what you need to have done is tested the connection like a good human. Okay, so I don't know why I said that. You guys have to forgive me. I, I've been sleeping the past four hours, but when I woke up, I swear to God, it's like I shouldn't even have slept. Have you guys ever slept, but you slept so hard that you shouldn't have slept, and that you would have felt better and more awake had you not slept at all? Yeah, it happens like that. When you got downtime on Pokemon Shuffle trying to beat the game, downtime on YouTube and downtime on Facebook games, you know... You've got all that downtime waiting for everything to recharge and set back up your hearts and whatnot and your energy. That you end up just taking these random naps during the day and night, which really sucks. Okay, so here we go. Let's try to go to Nintendo Wi-Fi now. Now, don't flip out if for any reason it doesn't connect. It's okay. It'll connect for you guys. If you have any issues, you know, like before, please do message me. I'll be on Skype, what have you. Um... But I believe in this particular tutorial that the DS Wi-Fi servers are down. You'll see how many times I actually try to go through and get this going for you guys. Now, again, you've got a good good situation right here. I believe you also have to reset after um, getting your new friend code or what have you. going to freeze up because likes was downloading and then just really, really threw off my whole groove here. I was wondering... Why my emulator was freezing, I know Desmume don't run perfect on my computer, but it definitely runs enough to have Wi-Fi matches. I had a recent one with ORS, if you want to check that out, it'll be the video before this. Uh, those of you that haven't, uh, it was a pretty good match and stuff. I don't really play Ubers. But, uh, yeah. I believe these 52 codes are the ones that uh, have the server problem. But, if you keep getting the server down issue, obviously, you know, it'll be back up in a little bit. Um, 
I'm sure once we get enough people with this, because I know a lot of people have been wanting this tutorial updated, and like I said, I've been super busy with inventory coming up and everything and whatnot. The other biggest problem is people have the great thing where they can't delete their settings. That's bad. Uh, because basically, if you don't delete all of your Wi-Fi settings, you're basically still going with all of the settings that you had prior to the Nintendo servers going down. And no matter how many times you try to connect, you're going to continue to get the air of Nintendo stuff uh, being down. Because, again, it's basically thinking that you have old Nintendo Wi-Fi and it's going to try to connect to the old servers. It's going to fail. And then you're going to wonder what happened if you're going to message me or whoever else is still in this tutorial. And I'm going to look at you with those puppy dog eyes and ask you to please, 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 please get a new ROM or emulator. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The fix to that is you can take Desmume, you know, you've got it in a zip file, and you just unzip a new copy. You just start from the beginning, you do your BIOS moves, you set everything up and whatnot, and that's it. That's all you have to do, and you're back in business, back on Wi-Fi. And then, once Desmume has Wi-Fi, you need to connect it back to the server. So, that's pretty much all you can do. If you do have the issue that you're able to connect to Desmume like old school, that's not a problem, but the Desmume Wi-Fi and the Nintendo DS server Wi-Fi are completely different ball games. Uh, the Desmume Wi-Fi is strictly just for the emulator, whereas the emulator can get Wi-Fi all day, but you're never going to be able to play Wi-Fi with other people because you're not connected to the Nintendo Wi-Fi server that you're supposed to be connected to, to connect with other people. All right, then. But, unfortunately, I, I have noticed the new servers are a lot more stable. See, right here, it's going to try to work. But the reason it's going to fail again is because of that download in the background that I didn't know about. And uh, But, yeah, if the server's not, like I said, just try it again. Uh, if it's not, then that's fine, too. But I'm not going to go through here for another 20 minutes and waste y'all guys' time going over how to do this. Uh, like I said, it will work. It just is finicky sometimes. You guys have to give it credit for what it is. It is an older uh, type of thing. And this Mume is not the most stable thing in the world. Obviously, running it from a flash card and WEP and changing your router to the crappy WEP and all that fun stuff is still uh, the, a, a way to do it. Uh, you're still going to search for your soft app. You're still going to delete your settings. You're still going to change your DNS. You're still going to do your resets. You're still going to get a new friend code. You're still going to go on Wi-Fi, you're going to put stuff in the PAL pad, you're both going to put each other in the PAL pad, and then you're going to connect and battle. So, this can be done with the DSi, I'm assuming, but I'm really, really, really partial to fat DSs, uh, probably because compatibility issues. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this Desmume Wi-Fi tutorial. Updated, updated to the tertiary power. Um... It will work for you, like I said, if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, uh, the social links are down below. And also hit me up on Skype at TS Vector if you have any questions, or hit me up on YouTube if you need some assistance. If you get everything set up and you'd like to battle and you have a DS, you're playing on web, or somehow we get Desmume to Desmume going, that'll be pretty cool. Um, and we can get that set up, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, rate, comment, subscribe, peace out, objection! Find the computer room and peace one small thing, I've been really, really inactive with YouTube for both channels, so if you'll give this channel some love, I also have a co-op channel with Lex. Uh, if you guys check that down below in the description, I would really appreciate it. Let's get back up to Vec stardom, and uh, let's get back to being, well, us. So, uh, it's it's all about y'all. You know, y'all are the esteemed witnesses. Y'all are the ones dropping the likes, leaving the comments, and being active and supportive. So, thank you guys, and I appreciate your time, and have a good one.